and stuff there, don't they? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Right. So, what's the uh, idea behind the game? Do you mind talking? Killing each other. Killing each other. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's a pretty war gaming thing, isn't it? It certainly is, dude. Um, so, when you say key things, what do you want to know? Well, just what what is the game about? Okay. So, the, where's it set, etc. You know, it's it's set in an alternative timeline. Yep. So, if you imagine that in Earth's history, this massive event occurred, okay, okay? and in, in our game, it's so what's the, the name of the game? Wild West Exodus. Wild West, Wild Exodus, West Exodus, which is, yeah. uh, uh, this one is a skirmish game within the broader world of the dystopian era, yep. which is basically set in that, like I say, it's, um, it's a time where super science has occurred, okay. and the reason for that is the arrival of an alien force on the planet. So yep. this alien force, if you kind of picture it like an energy being, yep. so this energy being settled into loads of different places in the world, and then wherever it settles, it starts to convert matter around it. Okay. And humans have found this converted matter and have started using it as a power source. And all the kind of glowing orangey stuff you see on the miniatures, yep. that's this power called RJ1027. Ah, it's right. like a wonder okay. element. Yep. But what the humans don't know is this is actually of an alien origin. Okay. And it has a corruption, so the more you mess about with it... Is that hence some of the figures have got mutations you and got stuff? You've right. got it, you've got it, you've got it. So yeah. what it is, ostensibly, is... After the development of super science, the world has gone to war for this technology. Yep. All the scientists of the world have banded together to create a faction called the Enlightened. Okay. And they're selling these wonder weapons to all the major powers, growing rich off of the profits of war. So the world is at war on a massive scale. Things are starting to move towards a world conflict way yep. before anything like that ever happened. But we're very big fanboys within War Cradle, so we draw in lots of different elements into our game. So we've got aliens, yeah. we've got mutants, we've got gods, all kinds of crazy stuff all on this kind of theatre. Sounds good. Cool. So yeah, Wild West Exodus represents the battles and the things that are going on in the Wild West. Right. So even though you've got these world-spanning powers, people like Wyatt Earp and Jesse James still got still their jobs there. to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, at the end of the year, we're releasing Lost World Exodus. So if you've ever been a fan of the old Doug McClure films yeah, from the yeah, Antarctica yeah. and the yeah, big yeah. rubber dinosaurs, yeah. that's where we're going with the game at the end of the year. And then we've also got over there Dystopian Wars, which is our small-scale ship Base game, okay, which yeah. represents the conflicts in the broader sense of the term as people are trying to secure shipping lanes yeah. ready for invasion. And as we go forward in time, the game allows us to pick different areas of the world and then zoom in and see what the conflicts are like over there. So, if you were to start off in this game, yep. uh, Wild West Exodus, how much would it cost you to get a basic set to play with your Dude, mate down the club? Good question. Our starter set is £35. Pounds, That's good. And that comes with other than the table, that comes with everything you see here. So you've got Wyatt Earp and Jesse James, okay. plus their factions to get you started. Comes with the cards, the dice. So these are the start set figures here? Yeah, 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 these ones here. I'm just setting up from the last demo. Okay. So this is the forces of the lawman. Yeah. This is the starter set. And this is a, this gives you around about sort of 500, 600 points. Okay. So it's a nice starting force because our game is a deep skirmish game. So you don't need 100 models to play it. Good. In fact, 
this as a demo game is one of my favorite games because it's just so bloodthirsty and brutal and fast and yeah. deadly so both of these sets of models coming there all the cards yeah. Uh, dice, tokens, everything like that, all comes in a set for 35 quid. Right. Or alternatively, you can just go home and download it all for free. Oh, okay. All right, you need yeah. to do then is just find Buy some figures. figures and so your start rules playing. are free. The basic rules are free. Not just the basic. The full rule book is that, absolutely that, that's free. That's the way the hobby's going. Absolutely. I like that. That's the way. Absolutely. It's free. Yeah, and nice. it's not a slimmed down version of the rule book. No, it's yeah. not like a get you by until you spend some no, money. No, that's it right, comes yeah. with you've got like about 45, 50 pages of rules and then a good 150 yeah. pages so it's of not fluff like in there. An unnameable company that brings out a rule book and then several modules that cost you 150 Dude, quid. it's too easy yeah, to beat yeah, on yeah. the unnameables. Yeah. But no, I mean, we want people to play our games. Yeah. Not only that, we want local gaming stores to be able to buy in our game yeah. with a minimum of risk. Excellent. So, like, you know, if you've got a little shop in the corner, they can get in a decent amount of stock without taking massive, massive risks. Yeah. And the return on it's great. So obviously, um, we sell all our product at our recommended retail price yeah. so that the stores can do their 5, 10, 20%, whatever they want to Excellent. do on top of that and we'll never undercut the stores because we want people to get into their friendly local gaming store play games and have a giggle sounds great that's pretty much wild west exodus do